Hello. Can you hear me, Cecilia? Nice teacher. How are you? Fine. Good. Cecilia, what's the difference between good night and good evening? Uh, good evening is the hora, digamos, como las seis. Y good night ya es not exactly. No. Good evening is to say uh -huh. hello. Good uh, night is to say goodbye. Uh, so the time, yeah. <laughs> the time is not a factor. The time okay. is not a factor. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. All right. So it's what's today's date? Today is Today is Wednesday. Yes. First April first. Exactly. Today is Wednesday, April first. March is completely gone. March two thousand twenty will be remembered for the rest of history in all the world. Okay, so today is April 1st. April 1st. How was your day, Nelly? She's not there. Cecilia, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. How was your day, Cecilia? What? How was your day? Um, fine. Good. And you, Pamela, how was your day, Pamela? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Mm, well, the same as yesterday and a little warm. Yep, yep. And sad. So you don't go anywhere? No, I am staying at home. Good, very good. We have to follow instructions. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the best thing we can do. Sure, it, it's not easy because uh, nobody wants to be in the house 24 hours a day, it's not easy. But we have to be obedient if we want to see good results. That's right. So anyways, Eric, how are you? I don't think he can hear. But anyways, okay, let's begin with a review. Um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? The simple past? Yes, we were um, discussing different aspects about the simple past. Remember that if you want to make questions about actions or verbs you use did if the question is related with verb to be then you have to use was or were so they have exactly the same function the only difference is the uh, the personal pronoun that you use do you have any questions about yesterday No. Okay. So today, we, if we have time, we have three different activities, and all the activities are related with a simple past tense. 
So let's check the first one. Since we only have three people now, I think we can do it all together. Let's do this here. Okay, do you see the document? Yes. What do you see in the document? Questionary? Yes, we can say that. Yeah, it's a questionnaire. Um, we have different questions. Eric, can you hear me? I guess not. Okay, uh, so how many questions do we have in the document? Ten questions. Ten questions. And what do they have in common? They are all who age questions in simple past. Good. All of them are WH in the simple past. That is correct. So if you analyze, um, some of the questions are uh, did is used in the questions and in some other questions people use was or were so what would be the question for number one where did you grow up what is the past tense of grow grew grew right grew so what would be the answer for number one where did you grow up I grew up in San Salvador. Good. I grew up in San Salvador. Cecilia, where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. Good. All right. What about question number two, Cecilia? Can you please read it? How old were you when you went to first grade? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, How do you say yo tenía seis años? I, I was I, six I was. I was, exactly. I was six years old. I was seven years old. Do you remember how old you were when you went to first grade? I was. Um, I was. I was and six years old. Good. Pamela, how old were you when you went to first grade? I was six years old. Okay, and Eric? I guess he has problems with the uh, with the audio, okay. I was seven years old when I went to first grade. Okay, number three, how did you burn your hand? How did you burn your head, hand? What is the past tense of burn? Burned. Yes, burned, burned. So Melvin, Imagine that you had an accident, just imagine. And I said, yes. how did you burn your hand, Melvin? I burned my hand uh, with a firework. Good, nice. I burned my hand with a firework. That's a good example, very good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, what about number four? Pamela? Uh, where were where were you yesterday at 3 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Where were you uh, yesterday at 3 p.m.? I was in home. <laughs> okay, I was at home. Melvin, where were you yesterday at 3 p.m.? I was at the office yesterday. Uh -huh. All right. And Cecilia, where were you yesterday at 3 p.m.? I was in my work. 
Okay, all right. Are, are you guys doing home office? No. No. You're not doing home office? No. no. Okay, all right. Yes, okay. in my case, I, I take, uh, I do both. Home okay. office and, and, and go to the office too. All right, all right, good, good. Okay, what about question number five? Now, if you see question number five, it's a negative sentence. Why didn't your sister come early? ¿Qué le pregunta ahí? ¿Por qué tu hermana vino? No viene temprano. No vino. No vino temprano. Ajá. Why didn't your sister come early? What would be an answer for that question? Because she lost the bus. Okay, because she missed the bus. Okay, good. Missed. Do you remember the differences between miss and lost? Si es algo material, usted dice luz. Pero si es un evento, una entrevista, una cita en el hospital, O, o el bus por decir ahí, usted va a decir miss. Okay. So, si digamos yo tenía una cita ayer y se me olvidó, yo voy a decir I missed my appointment. Porque es un evento, es una situación, no es algo material. Okay. Do you see the difference? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. All right, number six. Why were you upset? Anybody? Why were you upset? ¿Qué le preguntan ahí? ¿Por qué estabas molesto? Ajá, ¿por qué estabas muy enojado? ¿Por qué estabas molesto? Why were you upset? What would be a good answer for that question? Because your sister came late. Good, very good. Because your sister came late. Good. Any other reasons why were you upset? Melvin? I was upset because I I waited too much Okay, I on waited the, of the line or, or too much of the bank. I okay, know. sure, sure. Because I waited too much at the bank. Or you can say I waited too much in line. In line. Yes. Good, very good. Cecilia, why were you upset? I was it late. One more time. Two. Okay, why were you upset? Uh, for reason, I, I eat, uh, eat late. Because I eat late. Okay, fine. All right, yeah, that happens. So they said, <laughs> your lunch is gonna be at 12. Ah, uh, okay. And then 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and you're very uh, okay. hungry. Yeah, no, okay. no your, your answer is good, your answer is good. Okay. But it, it happens in some institutions. Um, <laughs> you have a lot of work and they don't respect your lunch time. Uh -huh. <laughs> but your, your food has to be priority. Yes. <laughs> exactly. All right. Number seven, Melvin. When did you see your supervisor? I saw my supervisor this morning. Very good. Pamela, when did you see your supervisor? I saw my supervisor last week. Aha. Uh -huh. And Cecilia? I was there last week. One more time. Last week. Last week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number eight. How did you get home? A volunteer. ¿Qué le preguntan ahí? ¿Cómo llegaste ¿Cómo a la casa? Eh, ¿Cómo llegó a casa? ¿Cómo llegó a casa? I mean, they're talking about transportation. How did you get home? 
I took I, a taxi. Good. I took a taxi. I took a taxi. Uh, can you mention other examples of transportation? I came by myself in the car. I don't know. Okay. I drove my car. I drove my car. I came walking. Um, I have a question. Yes, Pamela. It's the same um, to say I took a cab or sure. something sure. like that. Sure. Yes, taxi and cab um, are synonyms. Taxi and cab are synonyms. How do you write it? C-A-B. C as in Charlie, A as in Alpha, B as in Bravo. Cab. Yes. Any other questions, Pamela? No. Okay. What is the longest distance you have walked? What is the longest distance you have walked? No por deporte o por ejercicio. ¿Cuánto es lo mucho que usted ha caminado? Porque no hay bus, se le quedó el carro o lo que sea. Nunca han caminado. I walked uh, around three, kilo, three, three and a half kilometers. Okay, three and a half kilometers. Okay. Yes, uh, because we visited to my grandma uh -huh. uh, 10 years ago, I don't know, and uh -huh. there is no uh, trucks to, to go to, to the house. Oh, does she live in the rural area? Yes, yes, in Novasco. Oh. Oh, are you from Ilovasco? Uh, uh, my parents. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. And we took the uh, talk, a uh, walk for, so, uh -huh. I don't know, for an hour. I don't know. Okay. Well, yes. walking is good. What about you, Cecilia? What is the longest you have walked? Um, one kilometer. The longest you have walked? Yes. What's the distance? One kilometer. One kilometer? Yes. Okay. And you, Pamela? One kilometer. Okay, one kilometer. Okay, one kilometer is okay. What about number nine? Why did you say that? Why did you say that? Usted llega a una reunión, termina la reunión y después lo abortan y le dicen, why did you say that? What would because be your I, answer? Because I was nervous. Because I was? Nervous. Yeah, good. Because I was nervous. Good, very good. Because I was angry. Good. That happens many times. Yes. <laughs> When you're angry, you say things you're not supposed to say. Okay, and what about the last one? When were your parents born? Do you know the years of when your parents were born? Yes. What years, uh, Pamela? 1969 and 1972. Oh my goodness. All right. And you, Melvin, do you remember the years of your, when your parents were born? Yes, my father was born in 1960, uh -huh. and my mom was born in 1962. All right, good. What about you, Cecilia? Do you remember the years? Um, my father, um, 1949 and my mother was born in 1948 yes all right um any questions about the structures of how we make questions ponga la atención como están estructuradas estas preguntas 
porque el, el ejercicio que vamos a hacer en otro momento es it's the opposite. Yo le voy a dar las respuestas, usted me va a tener que hacer la pregunta. So remember this. Si la pregunta está relacionada con el verbo to be, usted va a ocupar was word. Cualquier otro verbo, usted va a ocupar did. Pero ¿cuál dijimos que era la única excepción en inglés? Born. Was born. Exactly. Para usted decir el verbo nacer, toda la vida por obligación usted le va a poner was born. Es el único. De ahí para allá todos tienen su forma en tiempo pasado, ya sea regular o irregular. All right. Um, any questions about the first exercise? No? No. No. All right. Good. So let's do this. Let's do some reading and pronunciation. Come on, not this one. It's right here. Do you remember this article? Do you remember this information in the platform? Okay, do you see the image? Yes. 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 Okay, who's that guy? Ricky, Ricky Martin. Martin. Okay, what is his profession? He's singing. Singer. A singer, yes. Do you know his nationality? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Yes, Puerto Rican. Yeah, Puerto Rican. Um, remember that Puerto Rico is United States territory, but it's not a state. Yes. It's only yes. territory. So how do you say Si usted nace en Puerto Rico, tiene la ciudadanía americana. How do you say that in English? If you was born in Puerto Rico, you have the citizen of the United States. Perfect. If oh. you were born in Puerto we're Rico, born. yeah, were born, you have the nationality of the United States. Very good. Nice. Okay. Um, so let's do some reading. And after the reading, we'll do some um, some questions. I need a volunteer to read the first paragraph. Okay, thank you, Melvin. Okay, okay oh. Pamela. And then Melvin goes second. Okay. Thank you. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24th, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. Good, thank you. Second one, uh, Melvin. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Good. Cecilia, next one, please. Okay, Martin moved to New York City, but the, but he didn't work, work for a year. He was very frustrated. Um, frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Yes. So after work, he recorded to a Spanish language album. Uh -huh. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Okay, so he moved back to the U.S. Very good. Pamela, yeah. next one. Back, back in the U.S.? In, back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Le Miserables. Then... He made his first English language album. Good, Melvin. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. 
Good. And the last one, anybody? Volunteer, volunteer? No. Yes. No, his family are around the world, but he still poor health, heart, and um, he still loves singing. And he says to a reporter for the newspaper, you say today, I want to do this forever. All right, good. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Yes, when, when we are uh, saying words in Spanish, how do we pronounce them? Uh, which word? Like it, um, for example, el, el nombre propio, Ricky Martin, tenemos que pronunciarlo. Ricky Martin, oh, 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 it's como your... darle el acento. No, okay, no uh, it's, it's, it's recommended that you say Ricky Martin. Martin. Eh, en San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. y... Okay, now San Juan, it, it's, it doesn't change more, much, um, but gringos, they say Puerto Rico. So they omit letter T. Okay. So, es una muy buena pregunta porque a pesar de que son palabras en español, eh, ellos los gringos hacen el equivalente en inglés. Por ah. ejemplo, el apellido de él es Martin, pero en inglés dicen Martin. Ricky Martin. 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 So, Ricky Martin and, was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yes. And how is it the correct form? Uh, it, it, it depends, like you said, it's a proper noun, so it's your decision mm -hmm. if you say Ricky Martin or Ricky Martin, San Juan, Puerto Rico. So my recommendation is try to sound as gringo as possible. So say Ricky Martin, mm -hmm. Puerto Rico, so you practice more. Okay, thank you. Yes, okay. Any others? Teacher, what does it mean afterward? Uh, it's another form to say after. Only after? Yeah, yeah. It, it's another form to say after. Now, it's very common that people use afterward when you're mentioning one event after the other. But in reality, there isn't much different when you say it afterwards. Okay. Thank you. Any others? Questions, comments? Pronunciation, meaning? No. Okay, do you see the picture? What, what is he wearing? What is he wearing? Is he wearing a t-shirt? No. No. no he's not. He's wearing a uh, uh -huh. formal shirt. Uh, how do you I say manga that. larga in English? <laughs> long sleeve shirt. Good. Very good. Long sleeve. Long. Yes. Long sleeve. So long sleeve. What is the opposite of long sleeve? Feature. Uh, short sleeve. Ah, short sleeve. Yeah, long sleeve, short sleeve. Like right now, I am wearing a long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve shirt. But during the day, I wear a t-shirt, I wear a short sleeve, and so on. It doesn't matter if it's uh, formal or casual. Exactly. It, 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 it doesn't matter. It's the same. So you're saying long sleeve formal shirt, or you can say long sleeve casual shirt. Okay. So it really doesn't matter if it's formal, casual, informal. It's the same thing. Any others? Preguntas? Are you good with retention? Yes. 
Okay, so no. let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's do this, uh, reading right here. Okay, let's see how much you remember. Wait, I think I gave it too much zoom. Okay, number one, volunteer to read the question and the answer. That's an easy one. When was Ricky Martin born? ¿Quién se acuerda cuándo nació? December 24th, 1971. Exactly. Three days after I was born. <clears throat> I was born December 21st, 1971. So he was born three years after. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about number two? Melvin, where was he born? Enrique Martin was born in Puerto Rico. Uh-huh. What part of Puerto Rico? I I don't remember. Okay. San Juan. San Juan, no. exactly. San Juan is the capital of Puerto Rico. What what language do they speak in Puerto Rico? What I language? Know, okay. English. Spanish. English. Yeah, the two languages are very common in the island. Now, question number three. How old was Ricky when he joined the Latin boy band Menudo? Uh, he was 12 years old. Yes. He was 12 years old. And number four, why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Why? Because he was frustrated. Okay. Because uh -huh. he felt. Okay, so he felt frustrated. frustrated. And, and, and what did he do in Mexico? What did he do? Did he have a, did he have work? Can you, can you repeat? Uh, what's the reason he was in Mexico? Why did he go to Mexico? Yes, he was frustrated, but what was he doing there? Was he just killing time? Was he just on vacation? What was he doing there? Do you remember? Okay, let, let me show it to you again. Okay, so it says right here. Uh, moved to, but it says, Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. What, what is Mexican soap? So okay. What is soap? Okay, soap opera. Does anybody know soap opera? Soap opera. Soap opera. Soap opera. novela, pero las que salen en televisión. Soap opera. Do you watch soap no, operas? No. Yes. English or Spanish or Korean? Spanish. In Spanish. Oh. You know, there are good soap operas in English. Very good. And they are. Soap opera? Uh huh. Is, is um, never finished. Obra de teatro? No. Soap opera means novela de televisión. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, somebody says it never finishes. ¿Quién dijo que no terminaban las novelas en inglés? Yo, Nelly. Exactly, es cierto, son bien largas, son bien largas. Pero son fácil de entenderlas. Yo les recomiendo que mire novelas en inglés. Very good. 
Like. So if like you, which? Uh, I don't know the names. You know, when I was younger, I used to watch General Hospital and oh. Young and Restless. They were my favorite. Era no un poco novelero cuando era joven. <laughs> Did you live in the United States? Yes, I grew up in the United States. Oh. Yes. And what, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I came back. The first time that I came back was in 1995 was the first time that I returned. And then I go back and forth. Yes. Okay. And that's where I learned to watch soap opera. Yes. Okay. Any other questions about uh, any vocabulary in Ricky Martin's uh, story? <coughs> no. No. Okay. Eh, la palabra, the uh, word mi miserables. How yeah. do you say? Okay. Um, la obra. It, yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a play, es una obra, y eso está en francés. En todo caso, si quisiéramos decir, decirlo en inglés, dijéramos miserable. 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 Yeah, like, imagine that you are very sad. Very, very sad. So you say, I feel miserable. <laughs> okay. All right. Any other questions about... Uh, Pronunciation or meaning? No. No. All right. So let's do. Let's go to the exercise that I mentioned at the beginning. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Are we okay so far with the simple past? Estamos bien ahorita? Yes, I think. All right, good. So let's do one more. This exercise is completely different than the first one. In the first exercise, I asked you the question and you gave me the answer. This is the opposite. I give you the answer. You have to give me the question. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what will be the question for the first one? I was born in 1971. When were you born? Uh -huh. yeah. When were you born? What would be number two, Melvin? When did she go? One more time. No, where did she go? Perfect. Where did she go? Well, she went to Sulutan. Number three, Nelly. Uh, where were you travel? Mm, not really. He says, we wow. travel by bus. What would be the question? Oh. Si yo le digo, nos fuimos en bus, ¿qué fue lo que me preguntó? Ah. Anybody? Volunteer? How did you travel? Sure. How did you travel? How did you go? How did you commute? How did you get there? Hay varias maneras, cómo llegaste, cómo te fuiste, cómo viajaste, cómo te transportaste, cómo te desplazaste. So, how did you travel? Oh, we traveled by bus. What about number four, Cecilia? He paid $500. How did he pay? One more time. He paid $500. He paid... Uh, how... He paid $5,000. Mm. Si yo le digo, él pagó 500, 
qué me habrá preguntado? How much? Uh, Ajá. How much he, he paid? Good. Paid. How much did he pay? Mm. How much did he pay? Very good. What about number five? I was in the park. Where were you? Good. Where were you? Where were you? When were you in the park? Uh uh. Solamente, yeah. where were you? Where were you? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde estuviste? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde estabas? Oh, ¿dónde, uh, yeah. ¿Dónde estuviste? Yes. Okay. okay. Acuérdese que a pesar que alguien diga la respuesta, usted en su mente la tiene que ir diciendo o la puede ir escribiendo también. What about number six? I bought it at the department store. Where did you buy it? Where did you buy it? Exactly. Buy it. One more time, uh, Pamela. Where did you buy it? Very good. Number seven, Michael Jackson was 50 years old when he died. When, when, you know, when, did, when how old was Michael Jackson when he died? When how did, many years? Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. When did? Okay, listen, listen. Yeah. Pregúnteme qué edad tengo yo. Pregúnteme qué edad tengo yo. How old are you? Ajá, how old are you? Ahora, si yo le enseño una foto cuando yo estaba chiquito y usted me quiere preguntar, ¿qué edad tenía usted? Entonces le quito el are y le pongo were. Entonces, le enseño una foto cuando yo estaba niño y usted me pregunta, how old were you in this picture? ¿Qué edad tenía usted? Entonces, hacemos lo mismo, nada más que es con Michael Jackson. Y pregúnteme, ¿qué edad tenía Michael Jackson cuando él murió? How old, How old was Michael Jackson, Jackson when he died? Okay, good. How old was Michael Jackson when he died? Porque les decía, si usted me pregunta, ¿qué edad tiene usted? Usted me va a decir, how old are you? Pero si me quiere preguntar, ¿qué edad tenía usted? Obviamente ya no le voy a quitar, le, 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 le tengo que quitar el R y le tengo que poner su forma en tiempo pasada. Entonces usted me va a decir, how old were you in this picture? ¿Cómo me va a preguntar qué edad tenía su hermana cuando se casó? How old how, oh, how, how was... Was your sister when married? When she got married. When she got married. She was married. Uh -huh. How old was your sister when she got married? Ahora, si usted se lo estuviese preguntando a alguien directamente, usted diría, how old were you when you got married? Do, do you see the difference? How old are you? Teacher. Yes, ask me. Oh, we can say how many years? No. Eh, cuando no. usted dice, usted sí puede decir how many years, pero no para preguntar acerca de edad. Puede preguntar How many years? Para cualquier cosa que se le venga a la mente, excepto la edad. Por ejemplo, um, okay. how many years was the Vietnam War? ¿Cuántos años fue la guerra de Vietnam? O yo le puedo okay. preguntar, how many years did you work for the government? ¿Cuántos años usted trabajó para el gobierno? Pero si es para edad, por ley, usted tiene que decir, how old are you? Yes. Okay. All right. Any other questions? When you say, 
How old were you when you got married? Uh -huh. eh, se usa got. O yes. sea, en pasado. Aunque yes. Sea pregunta, porque, porque ya está porque diciendo no... qué edad tenía cuando te casaste. Okay. No es el verbo principal. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Okay. What about number eight? We took three hours to arrive there. How long did you take to arrive, to there? arrive there? Good, good. How long did you take? Very good. Porque ahí le están diciendo, nos tomamos tres horas para llegar. Entonces, ¿qué preguntó? ¿Cuántas horas se tardó? How many hours did you take? Or, how much time did you take? Or, if you prefer, you can say, how long did you take? Number nine. Ahorita lo estamos haciendo todos juntos. Ahorita que los ponga a trabajar en pareja, por ley, usted y su pareja tienen que decir las preguntas. Uh, number nine. I broke my ankle playing basketball. ¿El qué me quebré ahí? El tobillo. Ajá. Si yo le digo, me quebré el tobillo jugando basketball, ¿qué fue lo que me preguntó? How did you break How did you break? How did you break? Break. Yes. How did you break your ankle? Si usted le pone atención a todas las preguntas, si son relacionadas a, al verbo to be, todas llevan was or were. Si es cualquier otro verbo, usted le pone el did. Pero recuerde, cuando le ponemos did, el verbo se queda en su forma base, en su forma normal. So, how did you break your ankle? Oh, I broke my ankle playing basketball. And number 10, I was mad because of your attitude. ¿Por qué estaba enojado, dice? Por sus actitudes. What were you... Upset. Ah, good. Why were you upset? Why were you mad? Why were you? Why were you? Okay. Uh, any questions about this exercise? Estamos bien ahí? Yes. Teacher, so el, el word se puede usar en singular y en plural. No necesariamente. Es decir, el word usted lo va a ocupar con you, we, they. Y en esos tres van singulares y van plurales. Y por esa razón no lo puede generalizar. Es como cuando usted ocupa el, el, uh, el you, we, they were pero acuérdense que el you puede ser usted o puede ser ustedes entonces no lo podemos generalizar porque va a una mesa ahora cuando usted ocupa el was eh, usted puede decir que los cuatro que están ahí son singulares he, she, it and I ok other questions No? No. All right. Bueno, aquí vamos con la práctica. Va a estar. Apóyese en su compañero. También con su servidor acá, pero trate de, de acertar las respuestas. Here we go. We got three groups. Okay, hold on. We are going to practice this question. Yes, exactly, exactly. Let me see this here. Uh, se la voy a enviar el chat para asegurarme que todos la tienen. Y si no, hágale captura a su pantalla ahorita. If you want. And where are you guys? Right here. Here's the chat. Boom. Ahí se los acabo de enviar al chat. Y pues si usted le agarró captura, pues está bien. So. 
Let me make the groups. Three, here we go. Hello, Pamela. Hi, teacher. You don't have a partner? No, I don't. Okay. Pamela, where did you study English before? Uh, I, in, in the school. In, in, you mean in high school? Yes, in all schools. <laughs> okay. Like what? Uh -huh. Middle, elementary, high oh. school. And where did you study high school? Colegio Salvadoreño Español se llama. Okay. All right. And did you take classes like in an academy or free courses? No, never. Okay, because you're pretty good. I like. Uh -huh. Listen to music in English and Very good. I search for the letters. Good. And I mm, me las aprendí de memoria. Oh, good. I and learned so, them by heart. Okay, and um, me gustaba traducirlas. Oh. Así que creo que eso. All right. I think that helped. Sure. Lot. He surely does. And I like to see movies and series. And good, and good. English. That's good. You're doing a good job. Okay, let me put you with another group. Okay. All right, give me a second. Where, 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 where was she, she going? No, teacher number two is uh -huh. correct. Uh, where were she, where she go? No, where did she go? Oh, okay, okay. Where did she go? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm in we three. travel by bus. So what is the question? We travel by bus. How? Oh. How? Oh, where, where, where were she travel? No. Si yo le digo, viajamos en bus, nos fuimos en bus, ¿qué fue lo que me preguntó? ¿En, en qué viajaste? Ok, so how do you say that in English? What did, what did, how, what, how, 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 ¿Cómo? how did you travel? Yes, how did you travel? How did you travel. travel? Yes, how did you travel? Okay. Uh huh. Okay, keep practicing. Um, and the four. Okay. okay, no, no problem, Maria Lisa. And okay. you have three, is the Pamela. Okay, how did you travel? Or how did you go to? Or how did you go? Yeah. Uh, we traveled by bus. You got it, Maria Luisa? Maria, are you there? Maybe she's she's not there now. Just go with the next one. Okay, okay. Um, I'm for Pamela. Okay. Um, 
for where were you where were you you at me imagino I was in the park. What, what is the question? I was in the park. Okay, so what is the question? I think it's where were you at? Good. Yes, that question is good. Okay. Number six. I will at a department store. Family. No, how old was? Was. I think how old was Michael Jackson? Were oh, only okay. used for um, we, yes. they, and you. And you. Oh. Mm, okay. Very good. Uh, Michael Jackson was 50 when he died. Okay. Okay, next one. Did you finish uh, practicing? Yeah. Okay, so it's it's time to get some rest for some of you, or maybe you will go watch television, listen to music, sing. or sleep, <laughs> or sleep. Well, sleeping is the best idea; is the best option. Yes. But since we don't have to wake up early tomorrow. People say, no, I'll watch television. I'll read a book. I'll read the newspaper. I watch videos. Different better, things. Better read a book than so social media. What is it? It's better read than watch social media because it's too sad. Everything. Yeah, right. Yes, there are a lot of bad news. Exactly. Yes. yes. You see, number one, I feel, I think, everybody has a different opinion, but I think that Facebook is, is a waste of time. And especially now with all the bad situation, I don't mm. think it's, it's a good idea to be watching that, but. There is a bomb of news. Sure, sure, sure. But everybody's free to do what they want with their internet. <laughs> Netflix teacher. Oh, Netflix is a, a very good option. It's a very good option. All right, good. Okay, so once again, um, thank you for your time. We're going to stop here and we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night.